Alright, so uh, right now I'm going to teach the wrist shot, so how to take a proper wrist shot. For the wrist shot, uh, we have four positions that we stand in uh, when we take our shot. Position number one is just setting up for the stance. Uh, you can glide towards the net in that stance. Position two is the wind up. Three is the follow through, uh, the weight transfer I should say. And then four is the follow through. Uh, with position number one, you want to focus on having the puck right in front. So if I'm shooting it towards you, uh, the puck will be placed right in front of my belly button. I'll sit with my toes facing you and the puck is on my backhand side. So I should even rotate my wrist over so that it's on my, uh, placed on my backhand side. Uh, my elbows, I always tell the kids, uh, flex your bicep, get it up nice and high, make a right, uh, right angle, um, and uh, then flip it upside down. So turn it upside down, and then uh, that is your position number one. You know, we wanna make sure that their arms aren't too close to each other, but in fact, quite far away. So position one, sit down nice and low, just like this. Okay, so position number two is the wind up. Um, uh, so when we're winding up, position number one, we sit in this stance nice and low. Position two, uh, we wind up. We still have that nice big window that we had from position one, and we uh, still have that nice big window inside position number two. Uh, the most important reason why we have that window is so that we can flex our stick. So when we flex our stick, underneath our chin should be our bottom hand. So if I'm facing you, directly under my chin is my bottom hand. A lot of players mistakenly will wind up where the puck and their blade is too far away from their nearest foot. Since I'm a lefty, when I wind up, the puck comes to my left side. When I wind up, I don't want to place it too far out to the outside. Underneath my chin is now my top hand, and that's not the one that I flex. I would have to lean too far over to the left to really utilize, um, utilize the flex on the stick, um, and it's just not needed. If I was going to jump, and I was going to jump as high as I could, I wouldn't bend my knees this far and then jump. I'd only bend my knees to about here, right? So in the same way, we don't need to wind up too far out to the outside. We don't have to wind up too far behind us. I always place the puck if I'm shooting it in this direction. When I wind up, I place the puck nice and close. Under my chin is my bottom hand. And the puck should be in line with the back heel. It doesn't need to be any further. It doesn't need to be too far out to the side and fall from there. That's a good spot, as long as you've got that nice big window right here. In position number two, uh, another main focus is in the wind up. Uh, as we're winding up, uh, since I'm a lefty, I want to wind my arms up and my, and my legs at the exact same time. So a lot of players will wind their stick up and then place the weight on their leg or do the opposite where they place their weight on their leg and then they wind up. So we want to actually do it at the exact same time. So position number one, I face the neck. Position two, as I wind up, all my weight goes to my back foot and I wind up my stick at the exact same time. So one skill on its own is just getting the kids getting from position one into position two. Um, if I'm winding up to shoot it towards uh, this direction, a lot of players off the ice will line their feet up so they're lining their feet up with their target. And so we don't teach uh, that because we don't skate sideways towards the net. Our toes are always facing the net so that we can glide towards it. Once we do a shot in motion, our toes are gonna be gliding towards the net in position number one, gliding towards the net inside position number two. And all we're doing is uh, doing a lateral lunge. So if this is just a straight lunge onto my left leg, a lateral lunge is me getting nice and wide, sticking my butt back, keeping my chest up, and then placing all my weight onto my left hand side. My chin, my knee, my toe, everything's lined up perfectly, and my right leg is out to the side. I don't want this one to slide too far back. I just sort of lift up my heel, place all the weight onto that left leg. That's a good lateral lunge, and that's a good wind up as well. Position number three now is the weight transfer. So I, uh, as a lefty, I placed all my weight on my left leg. As I take the shot, in the same way when we wound up, our legs and our arms went at the exact same time. When I follow through, legs and arms follow through at the exact same time. So I'm transferring my weight from my left onto my right. If I'm gliding towards inside position number two, position three, you want to actually take a stride. So take a stride onto that front foot. As a lefty, a front foot shot would be my right leg. And um, as, a left, as a righty, it'd be the exact opposite. So I place my weight on my right leg and then transfer my weight onto the left. Um, when I take the shot, um, the weight transfer, again, it's a full stride. A lot of players will take the shot and only stride to about here. So if here's my hip and here's my knee way down here, we actually want to take the stride that your hip and your knee are almost in line with each other. So uh, nice and low, sit down nice and low.
All right, last position, position four is the follow through uh, from position uh, two into three. Three almost becomes four really quickly. Three, the main focus is you transfer your weight onto your leg at the same time as you shoot your legs. You don't shoot your arms and then your legs. You don't shoot your legs, then your arms. But they actually get shot at the exact same time. Uh, when I follow through, uh, if this is position two, position three, I still flex my stick with my bottom hand. And then position four, I point to my target. In position four, if I was shooting it towards the camera, I get my elbow up nice and high, just like I'm shooting a gun. Um, I don't want to shoot it when my arms are really low. I want to get them quite high. And if our targeting reticle was, uh, uh, was a specific spot on the blade, it wouldn't be just exactly the toe, it would be the very bottom of the toe. So that is your direct target. If that's what you want to hit, then that's what it should be pointing at. Uh, this is a vertical stick, so again, you're pointing to your target vertical. Uh, when you snap your wrist over, it's called a wrist shot, so make sure that you rotate that wrist over just, just a little bit over vertical. If we were just going to talk about the arms in a wrist shot, we have two arms, so my bottom arm is used as, a, as a, I flex my stick and I get a little bit of whip off of it from my shot. Um, main focus is I flex my stick inside position number two, so you should keep that flex from position two on to position three all the way. I tell uh, the kids that your stick is a perfect length for how long your uh, flex should be. So if I laid down my stick and I wound up from the blade uh, to the very uh, to the knob, then that's how long your sweep should be. So listen to the sound, nice and long. This is a really quiet one, but it's long. This is a really short one, but it's loud. It should be. Nice and long and nice and loud. So in, posi in position two, bottom hand flexes uh, through position three. So right now I'm really pushing down into my stick, keeping my arm locked. And then as soon as I get to the full extension, I keep pushing down, keep pushing down. And now I'm pushing all my weight with my bottom hand forwards. So now we'll talk about uh, our top hand. We'll talk about uh, just rotating our wrist over. It's called a wrist shot for a reason, and that's due to our top hand. So uh, when I rotate my wrist on position number one, I rotate it over so that I can flex, um, so that I can bring it to my backhand side. I rotate it in the opposite direction um, while it's on the uh, forehand side. And as I take a shot, it's going to snap over. So I always sometimes will grab the kid's hands and just get them to get the feeling down of snapping it over. So by the time they snap it over and they point to their target, uh, they're pointing just a little bit over vertical and, um, and they snap their, their wrist over quite quickly. Um, I always suggest to the kids that the grip that you're grabbing your, uh, your stick with, the grip should be quite strong, uh, but your wrist should be pretty loose. A strong grip, but a loose wrist when you snap that wrist over. Okay, so one of the drills that I use uh, for kids when they're first learning how to take a wrist shot um, is just to focus on the top hand. I get them to line their feet up with the target, uh, bring their hands together, knees together, knees bent, uh, feet together, and I get them only to use their top hand. So even though their bottom hand is touching the stick, the top hand's doing all of the work. If they snap their wrist over properly, uh, then it'll be a pretty good shot. Um, the most important thing is that the puck should, la uh, should be on the heel. So I always tell the kids, uh, make sure the puck starts on the heel. And as long as you snap that wrist over properly, by the time you finish, uh, the puck will snap off the toe and then it'll create a nice saucer technique that we need to take a good shot. Hands lined up, feet lined up, and then just snap your wrist over. So uh, the last time we focused on the top hand wrist, uh, snapping that wrist over. Now if we were to just focus on the bottom hand, when I take the shot, I actually tell the kids um, uh, regularly we're supposed to be looking to our target as we're winding up and as we're following through. But I tell the kids just when you want to focus on the bottom hand, uh, let's actually look. Let's actually look at the bottom hand. So in the wind up, look at your bottom arm see the result, so see yourself actually flexing the stick, and then through the shot, uh, you should still be looking at your bottom hand, just so that you can see that flex, uh, uh, you use, utilizing your flex the whole way through. Uh, eyesight and what we're looking at is really, really important for accuracy. Um, when I'm taking a wrist shot, I always tell the kids, uh, just in the exact same analogy as what we do if we were uh, you know, uh, uh, throw a baseball, when I wind up to throw my baseball, I look at my target, follow through, and then point to my target. In hockey, we'd be doing the exact same thing. We would never wind up, look at our puck, 
and then shoot it, but that happens quite a bit. Uh, so I tell the kids, would you ever wind up throw a, to throw a baseball, look at your baseball, and then throw it? It wouldn't make sense, right? Uh, so in the same way, when we're shooting a puck, exact same way, uh, wind up, look at your target as you're winding up, and then as you're following through, you're still looking to your target. And your target should be quite precise. And with all the diamonds and the squares and the netting, I should say, um, I always tell the kids to look at one of those. So look at one of those squares. Your target should be quite small. A lot of kids think, yeah, I'm just going to hit the left side or I'm just going to aim to shoot the net, uh, shoot towards the net. But I always tell them to have a really precise target. The target should be quite small. One common error that I see is that uh, when uh, players take their wrist shot, uh, they wind up leaning on their left leg following through, leaning on their right, and this is their follow through. So I say this is a pretty good follow through. If Stamkos was taking a shot, he'd probably look something like that. So bend your leg a little bit further, um, point directly to your target. If I wanted to hit uh, you guys in the screen, then I wouldn't be pointing to here, I'd be pointing directly to my target. And you actually find that a lot of kids, if they skip, it's on the, if I was gonna take a shot of them, a picture of them in position four, but I tell them to stick it. So um, a lot of players, they'll stick it to only about here when their target is in fact here. So it's very important that the very bottom of the tip of your stick is always pointing to your target. So when we're taking a shot in motion, it's the exact same thing as what we did standing still. We have position number one as we glide to the net, position two, position three, and then four is your shot. So the exact same components. One mistake that I always find is that in position number two, uh, the players will wind up and they'll start skating in the opposite direction of the net. So the most important thing is when they wind up, it's just a lateral lunge. There's one, two, and three, and then four. So you're always gliding towards your target. components that we work on uh, whenever we take a shot. So for me, when I wind up, I think about these four main components, and I think about it like that. So it's taking a lot of training for me to actually do that. Uh, with the kids, we tell them the same thing. It's gonna just take some time to get up to that point. Um, but I tell them to wind up, take the time inside position number two, and then three and four, they should actually rip the shot and let it go, uh, but not before thinking about these four components. The first one, every shot needs perfect mechanics. So we've just worked on our mechanics quite a bit, needs those mechanics down pat. Second thing is, it needs to be really hard. So when they shoot, we want it to be as hard as it possibly can. Um, three ways to make a shot harder is one, nice long, loud sweep that we worked on before. Uh, two, when you take your stride from back leg onto front leg, it should be a really strong, aggressive, powerful stride. And then the third way to make it really fast and really aggressive, a hard shot, is if you're taking a shot in motion, skate to the net as hard as you possibly can, charge the net, and you'll have some momentum uh, behind your shot. So that's the second component, it's just, it needs some power. Third component is accuracy. When we're looking to our target, we're uh, in the windup, we're looking to our target, in the follow through, we're pointing to our target. And then the fourth one, we always tell the kids, when they shoot, shoot to score. Uh, so most players just shoot for the sake of shooting. We always aim to shoot to score for every one of our shots.